Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will be working on another bracelet. We won't be naming it as it's just a demonstration of the stitch. Last time we made this bracelet, Peyote Chevron stitch, and this one is an even count version of it. This stitch has its odd count version. It is so gorgeous. I'm loving the colors here. Perfect for summer. And these are the colors we used. Everything you see here you can find in my shop. So you will need two colors of Delica. You'll need a bit of 15-0. I used 15-0 Toho here. Lovely gold matte color in there. And then you'll need a bit of 11-0. I would encourage you to use Toho 11-0 in this tutorial because Toho's are wider than Miyuki and it works out perfectly for the toggle clasp here. And then you'll need one 8 millimeter bead. I'm using pearl coated cream these are drug beads check drug beads and it matches perfectly with the bracelet here for today i decided to use bold colors so for two delicate colors i'm using silver and green you'll need a bit of 15 -0. this time i'm using miyuki 15 code 4201 and a bit of 11 -0, toho i'm using my favorite milky white and then one 80 man bead. I'm using one to match my green delica. And look at the gorgeous color. I'm just loving it. And then you'll need a stop bead. For thread, for this ones, I used this uh, Miyuki 20 to match. And look, you can't see a thing on the sides. And for this colors, I'm using gray Nozo Sonoko thread. And then you'll need your needles. As always, I'm using Miyuki needles, scissors. And I'm gonna thread my needle. I used a lot here. I can't exactly remember how much. So I'm just gonna take my comfortable length and then we'll get started. So I thread my needle. We're gonna start with our stop bead. I'm gonna leave it till about six, eight inches. That's gonna be enough to add the eight mm bead on this side. That's the side we're gonna start on. And then take my needle through the stop bead. And then one more time. I don't know what colors you will be using, but I'm using silver and green. So silver is in my A, green is in my B. So I'll be saying A and B. So I'm gonna pick up four A's. And then I'm gonna go through first two A's. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna hold the beads in place, take my needle through these two beads, and then I'm gonna pick up one B. See where I am? I'm gonna go up through the second A. This is what it looks like. I'm going to flip it over, pick up two Bs, see where my thread's coming out of? I'm going to go down the second B, I'm going to help those beads settle in place in the herringbone, pick up one B, see where I am? I'm gonna go up this bead here. Like so. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take my needle down the neighbor bead here. Here I'm gonna just flip my work around. Go up the B. So, pick up a B, go up, I'm going to flip it over, like so, pick up two Bs, go down here, like so, pick up one B, 
and go down the next B. So this is what we have so far. I'm gonna pick up one A, go up through the sticky out bead here, pick up another A, go through the next sticky out bead here, like so, flip it over, pick up two A's, Go down the next bead. I'm going to help the bead settle in place in the herringbone fashion. Pick up an A. Go down the next sticky out bead. And here we come to the odd turn. I'm going to pick up one A. See this bridge here between B and A? I'm going to go through the under that bridge, take my needle through, and back through A. Like so. Pick up an A, go through the next sticky out bead up, pick up an A, go through the next sticky out bead up. Flip it around, pick up 2A, go down the next sticky out bit, help those bits settle in place, pick up A, go down, pick up A, go down. Pick up a B, up, pick up a B, up, pick up a B, up, flip it around, pick up two Bs, down, Pick up a B, down, pick up a B, down, again, we are at an odd turn, pick up a B, there is a bridge between A and B here, so I'm going to pick up that bridge, go back through the same B, Pick up a B, up, pick up a B, up, pick up a B, up, turn around, pick up two Bs, down the next B. Help those bits settle in place. Like so. Pick up a B. Down. Pick up a B. Down. Pick up a B. Down. It's forming. So I'm going to pick up A, up, pick up A, up, pick up A, up, pick up A, up. Turn it around. 
pick up two A's down let those help those beads settle in place pick up an A down pick up an A down pick up an A down pick up an A pick up that bridge pick up an A up Pick up an A, up. Pick up an A, up. A, up. Turn it around. Pick up two A's. Down. Pick up an A, down. Pick up an A down. Pick up an A down. Pick up an A down. So as you can see, it's slowly forming. Now this is the base of our odd count peyote chevron. So the wider your base, the wider your bracelet's gonna be. Here, it's important to know how to count the rows. You count the middle row of herringbone. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 10 rows. And this one, I made 16. And 16 gave me this width. I'm gonna do the same width. So I'm gonna add six more rows and I'll keep going the exact same way we've been doing so far. So I'm doing two rows of silver, two rows of green, two rows of silver, two rows of green, silver. So I'm going to keep going until I have 16 rows and then I'm going to meet you back here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now that I have the base and the width of my bracelet, it's time to work on the length. Work on the length is pretty easy. Before I do that, I wanted to explain you the colors. You can use one color. For the bracelet you can use 10 that's entirely up to you but if you want to do exactly the same design as mine that's how you do it for the base i stuck with alternating the colors 2a 2b 2a 2b until i got 16 rows once it's done i changed it to 4a 4b 2a 2b 6a 6b 2a 2b so four rows of A, four rows of B, two rows of A, two rows of B, six rows of A, six rows of B, two rows of A, two rows of B, and repeat the same over and over again. And that's what you get. And it will be more defined in this one because I'm using really contrasting colors. So how we do the length is pretty easy. I'm gonna show you a couple rows because each row from now on is done exactly the same way as the previous. So what we do here, we go down the next bead. One A. One A. A, go up the sticky out bead. A, go up the sticky out bead and all the way to the top. Turn it around, pick up two A's, down, help it settle in place and herringbone, pick up an A, down, A, down, A, down, A, down, A, um, couple more and down. 
That's it. One row done. Now here, up, and repeat the same thing. Flip it over, pick up two A's, down, and continue. And the last one, again, go up. So every row is exactly the same as the previous one. And you can see the line of the side is already forming. So I'm just going to do one more row with you. And you'll keep going the same way until you get your required length. And I'm going to explain that in a minute, how much you need if you're going to do the same clasp as mine. Flip it over, pick up two A's, down. A down, A down, A down, A down, and the last one. And that's it. You keep going the same way until you get to, let's see how much you need from one end to the other. So I like my bracelet usually pretty snug. I have about half an inch between the two ends. So keep going until you have pretty much same amount. And then I'm going to show you how to add the clasp. Now that I have my required length, we're going to add the loop. So here, I'm going to go up. And I'm going to continue with the pattern I'm doing. So I did 2-2, two, two. next one is 4-4. Four, four. Here, pick up 23 50 nose. 23 50 nose, flip it around and go down. And go down the next bead. Don't pull your thread too tight, just leave a bit of a slack there. And then continue. 
There we go, down. There we go, down. Just gonna make sure I have a bit of a slack in there. There we go, down. There we go, down. Delica down. You can see a bit of thread there, so that's how much slack I left. Then up. Delica. Delica up. And now when you go through the last one here, I'm going to take my thread and go through first 50 now without adding any bead like this pick up a delica skip one go through the next pick up a delica skip one go through the next pick up a delica skip one Go through the next. Pick up a delica. Skip one, go through the next. Pick up a delica. Skip one, go through the next. I'm going to flip it around. Pick up a delica. Skip one, go through the next. Pick up a delica, skip one, go through the next. Pick up a delica, skip one, go through the next. Pick up a delica, skip one, go through the next. Pick up a delica, skip one. Through the next. Pick up a delica, skip one, go through the last 50 now there. Like so. And then here, without adding any bead, I'm gonna go down this delica in here. That's what it looks like now. And continue down. The last delica down, go up, pick up a delica, 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 go up. Pick up a delica, go through this last bit here, this last sticky out bit, and without adding any bead, I'm gonna take my needle through this first delica of the loop, like so. And then I'm gonna take my 11 nose and go through the sticky out delicas, 
like so. We'll have a no through the next. We'll have a no through the next. We'll have a no through the next. I'm gonna flip it around. We'll have a no through the next again, Delica. I'll have a no through the next. 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 I'll have a no through the last sticky delica here. Like so. And then without adding anything, I'm gonna take my thread and then go through the first sticky delica here. And that's it. Delica down. Delica down, Delica down, Delica down, Delica down. And we are done on this side. Go ahead and get rid of your tail. And that's it. Now here, we're going to remove the stop bead. Thread the needle. Then here, I'm gonna pick up three 50 nodes, drop it down, our 8 mm bead, drop it down, and three 50 nodes. Then I'm gonna take it down through the Eight millimeter bead and then one fifty no. And here I'm just gonna let that settle into place as a pick up. Pick up two fifty no's and then down this bit here. And that's pretty much it. Now we just reinforce it. I'm gonna go down one more delic on this side. Go up, go up, go up through the fifty nose, the last fifty nose through the eight mm around the peacock. Down through the eight mm and one fifty no, and down this side of the fifty no's. and down the delica. That's it. Now get rid of the tail, and the beauties are ready, aren't they? Gorgeous. Totally different colors, but beautiful in their own way. I think this one is still my favorite. I'm really into gold lately. And another moment I wanted to show you. Here, I used Miyuki thread. It's not so stiff. This one, I used Nozo Sonoko. It's very stiff. You can still bend it around your hand. I'm going to show you both of them. But still stiffer, So just so you know. And then, let's try this on. I'm loving this color. And this. Now see here, the loop is a bit loose. 
I used 25 50 nose in the middle. That's why for this one I used 23 and it's perfect. Not too tight, not too loose. Okay. So thanks for watching guys. All the materials and links will be in the description box. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. If you make these ones in different colors, I would love to see how they turn out. So if you could join Kara's Beaters group in the Facebook and post your pictures there, that would be really appreciated because I think other people would also benefit from seeing in different color combinations for them to decide what colors they would want for themselves. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.